3D printer that is inspired from Prusa i3. By using the 3D printers, we can print out complex prototypes from just simple motions of five motors, of layers to layers, one at a time, into a complete 3D model. At RMIC Vietnam, we are doing courses that are both practical and also theoretical. We learn some of the other fundamental courses of engineering, for example, computers, applications, which is a course for us to learn about 3D modeling and PCB making so that we've got all of the fundamental basics of how to do a project from the first steps. This is the quadcopter project. It's you four motor in order to lift it up and we use a sensor to stabilize the speed of all four motor so that it can automatically stabilize. Another thing that we use controller in order to, to choose the direction of quadcopter so that it can move into a direction. We know that alternative uh, energy is now very popular and especially solar. If you just use like the solar panel, just stable, don't move around, so the energy you capture from the solar is very weak. And that's why like we're coming up with the idea for building a solar tracker system. This one is now you see is very stable. But it can adjust by the intensity of light. For example, we have dual axis the vertical one and the horizontal one. And I can control that one by light. First of all, there are two uh, most different things of this project. It's the mechanical part and the programming part. So for the mechanical part, we have to learn uh, how to design the part by using the AutoCAD. And we already learned that in the previous class. And the other thing is that for the programming part, we have to learn how to use the Arduino, which is a microprocessor, uh, and we have to learn how to um, program that as well in our classes. Yeah. This is the concept like similar in the factories. So the robotic arms we will work with the box. It's similar with the package in the store. So we program for that to uh, like you arrange the, the package in the store because it can save the human work.